Shed his precious blood and Lord uh, died on Calvary's cross out of pure love for us, uh, destined to be his bride. We pray, Lord, that uh, our time of uh, fellowship around the table might be for our edification and blessing. We ask in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, as I'm sure you're aware that uh, our table uh, is based on the Jewish Passover meal. And Actually, in the New Testament, there are only two names given for what we are going to do. And that is the, the Lord's Supper and uh, the Table of the Lord. And both of those, of course, we find in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and chapter 11. So, we can learn quite a lot uh, about uh, our table uh, from uh, the Exodus chapter 12 description of how they, the Jews should celebrate uh, the Passover. And of course, we are well aware that our Passover lamb is the Lord Jesus Christ. But one thing we learned from the Passover meal is that on that day and the seven days after, uh, they had to remove all leaven from their houses. And we learn in the New Testament, of course, that uh, uh, leaven speaks of evil. And the Passover meal uh, was followed by uh, the next day by uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread.
and uh, verse uh, 11. Prastam Barako Ebara Padma Ani Timi Harule, yes, like a Sari Hanu, Afna Kamar Harma, Paduka Pasera, Afna Pau Harma, Afna Jutta Naira, the Afna Hatma, Afna Lower Vira, Timi Harule, yes, like Hatar Hatar Sanat Hanu, you Param Provokor Mistaho. So that verse speaks of a life of a pilgrim life. They had to eat it with uh, their clothes on. I mean, it talks about with their loins girded, but it means like with traveling clothes. And they had to eat it with their clothes on. I mean, it talks about with traveling clothes. And they had and to eat it in the east. And it is So, in that way, you know, we are uh, that attitude we should have in our hearts that as we take part in the faith. So, we are all our journey through this life. And we are all our journey through this life. And uh, we are looking for the Lord's second coming. <coughs> because we uh, do it, as it says in 1 Corinthians 11, we do it until He comes. So we are really the supper connects the first and second advents. Of Christ. So let's turn back to Acts chapter 2 again. Amro Amro Bhatma, Previt Duima. And I think you might agree that the first century after Pentecost was like a blueprint for us as it should continue. There was in, you know, we read in Acts 2.46, it says that daily they were bread. And and of course, you know, we break bread on, on the Lord's day, the first day of the week. And we use the bread in the Lord's Supper. And we use the bread in the Lord's And we use Acts chapter 20 as our uh, guide for this. I pray with the beast of the hell, I think. I feel like I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God. In, it was in uh, Troas that uh, Paul uh, met with the uh, believers in the church there. And uh, it says, uh, it says uh, in verse 7, upon the first day of the week when the disciples came together to break bread. And it's a good guide to uh, break bread on one day a week on the Lord's day. Prabhu ko din ma, hafta ko ek din ma, is there roti bhas ne, ko niyam ya ya aaja ya pahamul thik sa yo, maar kusan. But it's not a law. When I was in Oman in the Middle East, we had to break bread, uh, we had to gather and break bread on Friday because the Muslim holiday is on Friday. And if you read this passage carefully at Paul's time with the church in Troas, uh, You'll see actually they didn't break bread on the first day of the week, it was the second day. 
जहाँ हमें चाहे पावल प्रेरित को त्रवास में बिताए जीवन हेद्दा खेल रात हे हप्ता को पेलो दिन प्रभु को दिन में होना उन्हीं दोसों दिन हप्ता को दोसों दिन में रोटी भाजे क्योंकि अंत में मध्यरात पावल दाजू ने वचन दी रहे हम जो युतिकस तेसरो तला देखि तल खसे पावल ने अंगाल उसको प्रार्थना कर दिए भगवान अब उनकी हम प्रभु को नाम में बक्तीस में लिने अभु को भोज में भाग लेने सहभागी जब बाप्तिज लिख या प्रभु भोज बा विगत को जीवन लिंदा खेल हम मेरा हम पे जीवन बीती हमें छोड़े त्याग जब पानी में डुब्स हम पुराना मंत्री मरे अड़ी अभी प्रभु स्वयं ने भन्न गए मेरे समझना में करने कर This uh, Acts chapter two, verse forty-six. Uh, um, it sh- it shows how they went from house to house, breaking bread. Yeah, twelve, twelve spadma. Unaru dinu ho, ya har bhuma dhande roti maasi gathe. And what what God is trying to show through these things is that uh, you know. Uh, There was great liberty in the early church meetings. But Mulen says, "Yes, but in modern times, see, the kind of man who behaves so badly, see, the oil of oil, sure, the mandali haruma, the whole whole the mandali haruma, see, the cotton trapati." And if you look back to the past two thousand years, you can see how man or Christians, let's say, have um, have surrounded baptism. And the Lord Supper with all kind of rituals and let's say rubbish, rubbish things which are not in God's word. I mean, I live in a dark world, so it has here when it Christians are only Prabhu Bhoj, Lai Lino, and Baptist Mala say, Baptist Mala Lina has say, na na, prakar ko niyam hulu banana ra kela say, oni na oni banana de ka sam. So you know, we read in Acts two that uh, that they broke bread from house to house. यहाँ से खुशी साफ घर घर में रोटी भाजने कर दाते। And in my opinion, I, I with the Lord's table, uh, I think far too much we emphasise the warning and not enough the joy of it. हमें जब वो प्रभु बोलते हैं और तो प्राय धेरे जस्तों से हम लेते हैं चेता उन्हें तेरा तो नहीं ध्यान दिया था जो के चेता उन्हें माजिन सों ना कि प्रभु बोल दिन ना तेरे को जो आनंद सोते इसमें लिंच दिन दिन ना सों Otherwise, why would it say in Acts 2:46 they broke bread with gladness and sincerity? नंबर वाले 46 पद में And uh, so, how should we, you know, as we break bread, what should be in our mind? जब हम रोटी भांज रहे हों, इतनी बेला हमारा मन में क्या होने पर दस आता? Well, if we turn to uh, John six thirty-five. योहन्ना छह अध्याय. योहन्ना छह अध्याय का पॉइंट इस पद में बंदा. अशुले तिनी जीवन को रोटी मई हूँ 
जो म कहाँ आँस ऊ कहीं भोगाने छेन असले मे विश्वास कर ऊ कहीं तीर्थाने छेन So what the Lord is really uh, meaning here is uh, he that cometh to me, coming to him and taking and eating his body. यहाँ प्रभुले के बोल्नु भएको छ भने उहाँ जो पनि उहाँ कमा आउँछन् उहाँको शरीरबाट भाग लिन्छन् एन्ड बिलिभिंग इन हिम वी ड्रिंक ऑफ हिज ब्लड एन्ड वी उहाँमा विश्वास गरेर हामी उहाँको रगत पिउने छौ भने विश्वास गर्छौ नाउ जस्ट रिपीट दैट सो इट सेज ही दैट द मीनिंग इज दैट ही दैट कमस टू मी ईट इज हिज बॉडी त्यो जो मोमा विश्वास गर्छ मोसम मोमा आउँछ मेरो शरीरसँग को सहभागी हुन्छ एन्ड ही दैट believeth in me drink it is blood jo mama vishwas karcha o mero ragat piuncha and uh, so what it shows is that by being born again this is something we have already done when we were born again yo che jab hami vishwas ma aayo naya vishwas le phiri naya gari janmyo titi bela hami yo gari sakeko huncha because when we say when we born again what are we like to call it you know we uh, we eat and drink of christ you know when jab hame naya jan gari janminchau ya naya vishwasi bapa naya suru vishwas garchau titi bela chai hame sar prabhu sari ko sabhani huncha this is not just some thing i brought out of my head you can go back to the early church or gustin at the last century great bible teachers like amber यो मैले आफ्नो मनबाट लिएको होइन मेरो दिमागबाट लिएको होइन र गएको शताब्दीमा लेखेको यो जुन अगस्टस अनि पेम्बा भन्ने बाइबल विज्ञहरूले देखाएका छन् पलेका छन् अनि पेम्बाले लेखेको लेख अनुसार ब्रदर भक्त सिंहले चाहिँ धेरै शिक्षा पाए दाजु जोर्डन खानले उहाँलाई भन्नुभयो भगत सिंह दाजु भगत सिंहको कोठामा पर्दाखेरि यो के अरे अगस्टन अनि पेम्बरको ले लेखेका किताबहरू दाजु भगत सिंहको कोठामा थिए अनि वाचमेननी चाइनामा वाचमेननीको जुन दा दास हुनुहुन्छ एकदम प्रभुको सेवक उहाँले पनि यसै पेम्बरको किताब हेरेर नै यसरी स्रोत पाएको हुन्छ so when we come to uh, the lord's table jab hami prabhu ko mez ma aunchau we thank him and praise him for something that is already passed in our life te hami mahan le dhanyawad dinchau jun chai hamro jivan ma bitera gaye bhai sakeka chan and uh, how how we have already eaten and drunk of his blood kosari hamle chai waha ko sharir ani ragat ma sahabhagi bhai sakeka chan and so uh if we turn back to acts uh, chapter 2 then we have to go to the dima uh one thing we notice uh is that in the early church uh the breaking of bread the lord table was usually held uh in combination with a normal meal paila ko vishwasi harle chai prabhu ko bhoj lai linda her chai kosari linthyo bhane mo aphno dinho ko bilkul ko khana pachi chai ya diunsu ko khana pachi chai garne garthe because the last sentence, the last sentence in verse 46 says they ate the food with gladness and it's sincerity okay now chair is on the table and so तिनीहरूले आ आफ्ना भोजन आनन्दसित र चोखो हृदयले खान्थे। And we know from early Christian writings that uh, the 
every believer in the assembly, they used to bring a basket of food and share it with the, their fellow believers. And if you turn to 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 12, uh, sorry, 11. Uh, and read verse 34. And it's clear from there that uh, uh, this Lord's table was combined with a meal. From the same chapter, verse 21. And so, you know, what, you know, why does, why did the, you know, why, why is the Acts 2 46 there? It is, and why did they eat by families? I mean, you know, if you go back to the Passover meal, they also had to uh, eat it by families. And the Lord Jesus on his, uh, when he ate that last Passover meal, with disciples, he, he just ate it with uh, his his fellow disciples. In actual fact, as I mentioned uh, previously, um, you know, they, those early believers, uh, they had to meet in homes because the government, the Roman world government, forbade than to build any buildings. You know, so many believers think they're at such great loss because they don't have a building, their own building to, to meet in, but they shouldn't feel sad because that was always the case in the early church. These informal family gatherings were to teach us not to, to keep the meal simple and without ritual. So we should be careful to remember that the table is for the joy and blessing of believers. Uh, the Lord is so, uh, the Lord is so wishing that uh, throughout eternity we would remember <coughs> how He died and shed His precious blood for us. Probably you each have a known Saki, you Ananta Samasa, I mean, Biswasi Harle, Mohali Hamulaki, he got no way to the hostel, Zogore, you have the Ananta Sama Yatrakiko, Samjako and Samusa. That's why, of course, when we know that those wounds in his side, uh, his hands and feet will be there for all eternity in his, in his resurrection body. Because 
त्यो अनन्तसम्म पनि उहाँको जीवनमा उहाँको पुनरावृत्तित जीवनमा पनि हुने शरीरमा पनि हुने छ तर हामीले यो मेजमा भाग लिनु भन्दा पहिला चाहिँ डर सहित भइसकेको दिनु पर्दछ जसले अयोग्य रीति सँग यो रोटी कचौरा पिउँछ त्यो चाहिँ प्रभुको शरीर र रगतको तुलसी हुनेछ यसको अर्थ प्रभुलाई चाहिँ बदनाम गर्नु प्रभुलाई चाहिँ अपहेलना गर्नु विभिन्न किसिम भिन्न प्रकारले अनि होसियारी नभइकन हामीले के गर्दैछौँ त्यो याद नभई थाहा नभइकन लिनु हुँदैन हामीले विचार गर्नु पर्दछ प्रभु यसो हाम्रो लागि त्यो क्रो कलवरीको क्रोसमा कति दुःख कष्टबाट छ जानु पर्यो caused him to have to suffer so much ye the the hamro ani manish ko paap le garda ke liye wahan sai the dukha ani kasht ma danu paryo and that should remind us of our own uh, sin yes le ke hum apne swayam ko hamle aapai gareko paap par hamle samjhinu parcha sa in the light of his uh, pure sacrifice or oh, as the pass of the lamb aap ko nishta nishkhod balidan lai chai samjhinu parcha sa jo hamro paap ko lagi dinu paryo and uh, so uh, you know what brings insult to the lord is if you know if we just uh, take part in this table in an indifferent way maybe thinking of uh, you know something we have to do after or or, or something like that so, you know totally oblivious of, of what the lord did for us हामी यो मेसमा लिने बेलामा चाहिँ हाम्रो मनमा चाहिँ मैले चाहिँ यो गर्नुपर्ने छ अर्को कुरै संसारिक फिक्र मनमा लियो गरिकन आएर यसपल्ट पनि लियो भने त्यो भिन्दै किसिम लियो हाम्रो सबै मन हेर्दै यसको प्रभुमा दिएको छैन प्रभुको मेसमा लगाएको छैन किनभने हाम्रो मन सापेर हुन्छौँ यो चाहिँ भिन्नता हो यो यसले पनि प्रभुलाई चाहिँ दोष लगाएको र प्रभुलाई चाहिँ अपमान गरेको जस्तो हुँदछ Yeah, so that why did this why was the lord's table part of the normal meal kina yahan kaile kaile mo sochu kina chai yo kitab anusar vachan anusar prabhu ko bhoj prabhu ko bhoj chai sadharan din ho ko bhoj sanga chai sang sangai thiyo ta i think it was because you know when you all come together and eat together you feel a, a very uh, onesome uh, closeness and uh, unity मलाई लाग्छ जब सबै भेला भइकन एकै ठाउँमा या खाना सबै मिलिकन खाना खान्छौँ भने सबै एक मन एक चित्तको अनि प्रसन्न खुशी साथ रमाहाट भएको हुन्छ यहाँ कोरिन्थीको किताबमा हेर्दै पढ्यौँ भने कोरिन्थको मण्डलीलाई चाहिँ प्रा पावलले घडी घडी उनीहरूको पापको सम्झना गराउँदै छ about the lord's table in chapter 11 is centered around disunity yahan prabhu bhoj yo 11 adhyay ma chai prabhu bhoj ko sthapana ko vachan dinha kele chai pahile chetaunu bhayeko ab din pani dinu bhayeko cha timaru ma bhayeko amelta bhanera because just to add to all the rest of their sins they were meeting in different uh, they were sort of saying i am from sephas i am from apollos etc किनभने उनीहरू आउँदै थिए तर उनीहरूले भन्दै थिए म के कसको मण्डलीको हो म उसको मण्डलीको मण्डलीको विभिन्न पक्ष 
signifying we are one body in Christ. <laughs> So you know, when we take part in, in this table, we have to, you know, not just think we are not living for ourselves. We are uh, one unified bread, one unified body. I mean, I like the Jew that the Jew of Vena, one of them, I mean, Kinamani, okay, sorry, I don't take roti. And you know it says someone took more food, uh, someone was drunk. Uh, that means that doesn't that just gives you the attitude of selfishness. They weren't considering the body. That's not considering the body. That's just considering yourself. So we should be, we should remember this as we take part. We are one body, and you know, uh, there should be no uh, disunity uh, amongst. This unity has many forms, but one very deadly form is gossip. And backbiting, criticism. And you know, we might think of uh, disunity as dividing churches and all this kind of thing, but there are other things besides that. So when we take part in the bread and uh, the wine, we should uh, do it with great respect uh, for the Lord Jesus and uh, his uh, Loving sacrifice on Calvary, which he gave for us. And there is a blessing, there is a blessing in this table. But if we take part in a casual way without without our mind and thoughts on what Christ has done for us, uh, you don't get any blessing like that. So let us come with reverence and thankfulness to the Lord's name.